Come. Sir. Left, two. Right, one. Clear. Steady, steady. Good. Wow, they repaired the Kalnas. Wow, it was trashed. And they fixed it in such a short time. Incredible. So this is Eldarian technology. This way. The design concept behind the warp drives we use in our ships actually comes from Eldar. The Eldarians' technology far surpasses our own. They have a warp technique employing subspace bubbles, one we couldn't implement. We had to use wormholes. What you see before you now are the fruits of that technology made real. The hull may not have changed much, but under the hood, she's like a ship from several centuries in our future. Amazing! Mr. Maverick, from this moment on, you're the captain of the new Kalnas. Me? A captain? You've handled your duties thus far admirably. I recommended you myself. The official order should arrive soon. But... Now, let me brief you on your mission. The new duties of SRF-003 Kalnas and her crew are as follows. You will investigate unexplored planets within warp range, as well as participate in the search for the lost Aquila. Miss Sionji, you'll be Mr. Maverick's first officer. Support him well. Sir! Faye Shifa Boleth of Planet Eldar. You will also be a part of the mission. Me too? Sir? Oh? I thought the three of you were already a team. Yes, sir. We are indeed a team. I happily accept your order, sir. Listen, Mr. Maverick, I know exactly what you want to say. But since the warp incident, the SRF has been severely crippled. All the other officers of Captain Class are injured and unable to handle the duties. I, too, have my hands full overseeing this base. Unfortunately, I can't even provide you with an adequate crew. This will be a difficult mission carried out by a select few. And right now, you're the only one capable of leading it. How about it, son? Do you accept? Uh, I'm only standing here today because of a string of lucky coincidences. I know I didn't earn this through my own ability. Raimi, FaZe, I'll be counting on the two of you. Of course! I'll do whatever I can to help, Edge. Together, we can do this. I stand with Raimi, Edge. I promise to be of service. I still have so much to learn from you, after all. I don't think you have anything to learn from me, but... Thank you, Raimi, FaZe. I am honored to accept the position of Kalnas Captain, sir. Very good. You may launch whenever your preparations are complete. I pray for your journey's success. Sir!
Main engine ports connected. Well, how does the captain's chair feel? So, this is how Crow sees the world. Edge? Being a captain means... You have to take responsibility for an entire ship. An entire crew. It's a heavy responsibility. Crow bears this burden every day of his life. Buck up, Edge. Look, you're one step closer to Crow now. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Besides, we three comprise the entire crew of the Kalmus. <laughs> now that you mention it, I guess we do. So listen, don't let this get to you. Just be yourself, okay? Thanks, Raimi. One day, I'll be able to bear this responsibility properly. I swear it. Star Ocean, here we come. Captain, launch preparations complete. Likewise, ready to depart. All right. Kalnis, engage! Yes, yes sir. sir!
Hmm? Just my imagination? We must make the most Just of our keep training. Just keep your cool and yeah. we'll be fine. Yeah. I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. Maybe now I can be of some help to everyone. We must make the most just of our training. Just keep your cool. Yeah. 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 I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. I must become stronger. Diligence, diligence. This place feels so lonely. Their civilization may not be as advanced as ours, but their way of life seems similar. I hope our translators work properly. Huh? That's... No, it can't be. The gods! The gods have come! Our prayers have been answered! There's no mistaking it! I saw them with my own eyes! They came to us in their celestial ship! Wha what's going on? Celestial ship? Yes. I believe there's a high probability he's referring to the Kalnas. He must have seen us land. And so they think we're gods, huh? We beg of you, O oh Holy Ones! Please deliver us! I am the elder of the village of Treom. My name is Gimdo. I should have been the one to greet you, but unfortunately, in this condition. <sighs> Our literature makes mention of a sickness known as Boculus. It is an ancient and infectious malady that renders the body unto stone, as you can see, then in time. Hmm. I'm not detecting any viruses. So we can't determine how it spreads. Please, lend us your divine power. <sighs> It's not just the sickness. Monsters never seen before have begun to run rampant. Every night, we pray to the great star ocean, fervently begging for salvation. But alas... Ah. Young oh, no, lady! Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Fuck, I forgot about K-Bitch. Here you go, Grandpa. <sighs> Thank you, as always, Limmel. Sure. Don't forget to water it, Kay. Oh, no! Just kill this whole game. She certainly is a curious child, isn't she? Please forgive the intrusion. This is my granddaughter, Limmel. Her parents both succumbed to the buculus. Finished. Grandpa, I finished drawing your amulet, so I'm gonna go north for a little while. Limo, what are you saying? You can't go off on your own. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna go get a symbol and come back and heal everyone, okay? I knew it! Symbology!
Those markings are symbological in nature, though they do seem a bit different from our Eldarian symbols. Symbology? That's the strange power you use, right, Face? So, the people on this planet can use symbology too? Yes. In fact, Limmel is the most adept symbologist in the village. Best in the village? <laughs> Surely you jest. Shatter your bonds and come forth from the gates of purgatory. Cerberus. <laughs> He's my little doggy. Kay? Was that this girl's symbology? Limo, how dare you? No, it's all right. <sighs> anyway, what's she talking about? She's going to get a symbol? To the north lies a citadel called Alanair. An oracle skilled in the symbological arts resides there. If we can but entreat the oracle to bestow upon us a symbol to cure the baculus. That's why I said I'm going, Kay. Young lady, I'm telling you, you can't go alone. So, I'd like to beg a favor, if I may. You want us to go with her? What? Would you? Hold on, Edge. Are you serious? We can't just ignore these people, can we? But... Have you forgotten our SRF directives? To investigate planets suitable for colonization and eliminate impediments to said colonization. This boculus definitely sounds like an impediment to colonization to me. Finding a cure for this disease would make a fitting mission for the SRF, don't you think? <sighs> what a nice public face you put on. Public face? Is that a joke? Any captain would make the same decision. It's not a joke at all. You let the real reason slip a second ago. We can't just ignore these people. Isn't that where your heart really is, Edge? In any case, we shall journey to this Alanair Citadel you speak of, and return with the healing symbol. Phase? We are a team, aren't we? And besides... How am I supposed to learn anything from you if I'm left behind here? It's not like I've got any great knowledge to impart. Can we truly make such a request of you, gracious gods? Of course, but I do have a favor I'd like to ask. Please, stop treating us like gods. All right? As you wish. Thank you. I'm Edge Maverick. It's nice to meet you, Limmel. And I'm Remy Sionji. We'll protect you, Limmel, so don't you worry about anything. Lim. Lim? Would you rather we call you Lim? Edgy. Ray Ray. Edgy Ray Edgy? Ray. Edgy Ray Ray. Edgy Ray Ray. Ray Ray, huh? Well, my name is Faze Shifa Belef. So, how about Fazy, Lim? Limo. Faze. Hey, at least it's not Mr. Belef or something, right? I hesitate to agree. I'm going, Grandpa. Hey? Be careful out there, little limo. I'll make sure to heal you first, Grandpa. Kay, we're going, Kay.
They haven't noticed us. Take this advantage! I was just getting warmed up. Bring them up. This feels pretty good, Kay. We must make the most of our trade. Now you'll see what I'm made of. I must say, that wasn't very challenging. Useful experience indeed. This feels pretty good, Kay. We must make the most Come of our on, training. let's do this! Fire yeah. of purgatory! Yeah. Pull up. Yeah. Yeah. Hatch it yeah. real! Yeah. Rise yeah. up, the world! Now you'll see what I'm made of! Fires of purgatory! Earthquake! Pull a yeah. lesson yeah. in C.A. Wonderful. I'm so glad. This feels pretty good, Kay.